What's going on, Skid? Got a call about an irrigation line blowing water everywhere. So you can see the water here. Oh, looks like the landscapers probably whacked it with a weed eater right here. So I'm gonna throw a Hail Mary. I guess that's what was in between there. It's kind of like a little PVC part. A little PV PVC part that goes in between. I'm no, I'm no irrigation expert. I want to see if this little half inch PVC will go in there, then I'll just cinch it down with a big zip tie. It's just a irrigation feeder line, nothing too crazy. I probably worked on irrigation probably once every 10 years. So, let's gonna see if we can just patch it up here, do a simple fix. With what we have, I work on it so very little that I don't have irrigation stuff. We'll hit it with some high heat when we're done. I mean, if you want to grab a shovel and dig underneath the sidewalk and all that, underneath this bush here, be my guess. But I'm going to keep it simple and move on to the next adventure. This one goes all the way back to here. don't have any landscaping material because we don't ever really do it so let's see if I can just get that in there yeah. spray it with some WD-40 that'll all slick it up and yeah, like I said it's just irrigation line if it blows it's just gonna Blow around outside, nothing too crazy. Wouldn't recommend this on inside plumbing. That should just fold up in there though. There we go. Yeah, it's twisting in there pretty nice. Probably can't see it on camera right now, but I'll show you the finished product. give it a love, love tap guess that's about as far as it wants to go all right all right like I said it's outside guys don't chew my head off just doing a little MacGyver patch here <sighs> beats blowing all over the sidewalk and that's it Just do your best to squeeze it up in that rubber pipe It'd be easier if you had a little heat gun and you can heat heat these they will stretch better that'll work I think I did this like 10 years ago at another property and it worked never heard from them again I'm just gonna get some big zip ties and zip them up as tight as I can around here and around here usually get the metal cinch ties but I don't have those zip ties will work though I get the big zip ties the wide ones I'm not sure if the little ones will work but this worked for me about 10 years ago I did this and walked by it every morning while the irrigation was on and it was good no troubles just make sure you get as tight as you can Again, this is just a Hail Mary MacGyver patch till the landscapers can get out here and fix what they chopped. But they can't get here today and I can't have water blowing all over the sidewalk. <clears throat> We don't buy landscaping repair stuff because we don't do sprinkler repair. We don't care if people do it, so.
Oh yeah, that's in there good. That's not going anywhere. I'm gonna just pop it with a little high heat so it don't stick out. There we go. That's how it looked before I got here when it was whole. Weed eater came along edge in here or something and yank, cut it. But that's what you can do, a half inch PVC and put it into the pipe, cinch it down with some cinchers, some zip ties or the little, the metal cinchers. There we go. Yeah, we got an AC call. She says it's not running anyway. It's set to 72 and it's 72 in the apartment. Let me go make sure I set it down so it don't cycle off on me. Ah, we'll see. What's, we'll see if I can make it work. Oh, it cycled off. Yeah, it cycled off. She has it set to 72 and it's 72 in there. Ugh. So I had to bump it down to 69, get it to turn back on. I, mean, I told her I'll check the Freon, but if it's cycling off, I'd say it's working. 100 something degrees out here. I'm sorry, I said Freon Super Tech. I mean refrigerant. I had to check the refrigerant. They go all this float switch water over here. Now she's claiming she may have had hot flashes, so we'll see. Could probably use a little juice. If you've seen all my previous videos, you know that every coil out here is leaking. Now I'm finding even the coils that I replaced are starting to leak. First company coils. So I'm sure it's leaking. We just kind of slowly make our way around. I mean, I can't do 250 coils, you know, all at once. So I just, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. hook up here let the unit turn on it's in a delay right now there we go it just came on it's got a TXV so we'll have to charge by a sub cool Get that up around 12. That's what it's usually called for. Let it run for a little bit and see what's up. All right, it's been running for a few minutes and it's kind of sitting around one degree sub cool. So I'm gonna add a little refrigerant. I guess it's a little low. Kind of bouncing around one there, not really rising. Let me get the air out of my line. Tank hooked up. Give it a little skeeter leg. Just a little skeeter leg of refrigerant. I wonder how much a skeeter leg is. It's about that, that much. So we're gonna get that sub cool up to around 12. The saturation right here was about 42. So I guess that's why it was still blowing cold in there, but I guess you could feel that it wasn't what it was. So we'll give it a little Freon, a little refrigerant that is, and should do it. Getting there. All right, Skid, 12 degrees, sub cool. TXV. 
I know the super heat's a little high, but they're all like this out here, man. These things are garbage with, with the first company coil. I don't know. This seems like the super heat on all of them runs a little high. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll come down with, with it, but it's weird. I didn't build the place, but it's cooling now. It's bouncing between 12 and 13 degrees sub cool. I'll leave it at that. Off to the next adventure. Close up my stuff here. It's got a leak in it anyway, so. Like I said, they're all leaking and the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Meaning if they complain a lot or we have to be there filling up with refrigerant every month, that's when we'll snatch the coil out and put in a new one. But now my new ones are leaking, I've been noticing. Say, man, I put this in two years ago and it's leaking. You go tell somebody about it and they just hit you with the well. It's like, hey, those new coils I put in, they're leaking. Well, you know, it's kind of, okay, don't worry about it. Not doing me a disservice. I'm just letting you know. It's good to go in there. It's blowing colder than a witch's booty. I hit it with the old gun. It was blowing out at 40, 40 degrees. I love this little thing. Blowing out at 40 out of the vents. I know super tech. This isn't the, the ideal thing. It's just better than putting my hand up there. You know, it gives me a good idea. A lot of super techs like, oh, that doesn't, that doesn't do the calculations. Oh, static pressure, static pressure. All right, the AC for the office ain't working, Skid. This is for the property manager's office. This is a heat pump, by the way. Goodman heat pump. They put straight cools on all the apartments and then heat pumps on the office. <clears throat> oh, I see a dead lizard on the cap there. Man, if I'm if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on a train. I'm gonna go on something a little high class. I'm not gonna die on a Goodman. Not gonna die on a Goodman. Contactors pulled in, so that's good. Hmm, this whole unit's not coming on. Hopefully, it's just the cap. I'm sitting here in a bunch of water from the irrigation, I guess. Hey, it's the next day. We'll go check our irrigation fix that we did since the irrigation's been on. This is over here by the pool area. Came on, but I checked the bottom of the contactor. It's got 240 coming in, so the breaker isn't tripped. That's good. Contactors pulled in, breaker's not tripped. I think we're just gonna have a bad capacitor. Easy peasy. I'm gonna take the capacitor out because of all this water here. I can't I can't stand good. So I'll just pull the whole deal out. Test it over here on this table over here. Hey, since the uh it's the next day. Since the irrigation has been on, let's go check our irrigation repair after this of course just gonna pull this cap out and test it all right set the meter to MFD for microfarads for you new guys and between C for common and Herm should be a 45. This is a 45 slash 5 capacitor. 22. Ooh, that's way low. And between C, common, and fan. Four point six oh. That's low as well. As you can see it should be 45 slash 5. So I'll go get a new cap, put it in. All right, the new capacitor is mounted yellow to Herm. You can see it on top of the capacitor, 
for you new guys who are wondering how's he know where the Herm is it's written on top C for common F for fan it's actually spelled fan so the only one that's abbreviated would be the common just a C and Herm H-E-R-M alright there we go yellow little Herm red and purple to common and brown to fan the Herm was really low at 22 should have been 45 come on big money no whammy well got the new cap in still not coming on I'm gonna have to step in this water here I couldn't get around to look at this circuit board but it's looking a little crispy right here see how that's discolored I think we got a bad circuit board Brosif I can't get around because all this water I couldn't see down in here but now that I've stepped in here I can see it it's a little discolored there so I'm gonna see if Johnstone's got a new one <sighs> can't ever be a cap all right skid bros I went to Johnstone and got a new defrost board for that heat pump since I'm standing over a puddle of water I won't be able to show what I'm doing but it's pretty easy I'm just pretty much gonna go wire for wire I'm gonna take that wire out of the old one and put it there and on and on and on all the way across that's pretty much it all right got the new defrost board in there just got one more wire the DF2 this is the old one see that burn mark right there that's how I know it was the board didn't have to break out the meter or nothing plus process of elimination you know the capacitor wasn't that low on the fan the fan should have been running if it was the capacitor just not the compressor the compressor was at 22 microfarads should have been 45 and the fan was like 4.6 I believe so the fan should have been running I gulped a little bit when I saw that good number I was like oh it could be low but it wasn't and the contactor is pushed in and I have 240 so everything else is looking good but the board so process of elimination is how I did that all right let's see what we got here then we'll go check our irrigation since we saw that it's been on come on big money no whammy this disconnects tricky There it is. I'll check the charge when that puddle dries up. Let's go look at the irrigation line. It's up here. It's on this building right here. Oh yeah, it's good. This is two days later. Still there. Obviously ran as I was standing in water working on that AC, so it's been running. Like I said, you know, you can fix this the right way or do it this way. It's outside. I mean, what's it going to do? You know, just blow a little water out on the sidewalk. Like I said uh, earlier, I did this one time and it's held for years. I walked by it every morning. When I did grounds, I walked by every morning and it held for years just like that. So you can do it the right way or you can get a little PVC and a couple of zip ties or some, some clamp, metal clamps, clamp them down. That'll work. All right. Let's go check on that AC, make sure it's still running. Oh yeah, moving some good heat out the top. Suction line's got sweat on it, nice and chilly. I'll check the charge whenever the water dries up. It's kind of hard working in a big puddle. I'll put the cover on, drive on to the next adventure. Burnt circuit board, look at that baby. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Late.